Hello everyone, welcome back to Plan With B. It's Berlin here. Just wanted to first say Happy New Year. It is the first day of 2021, so exciting. I hope everybody has a very safe, healthy, and happy new year this year. So for today's video, I wanted to do a quick, short video about three reasons why you may not be fully utilizing your planner and how to do so. So with the new year, setting up new planners for 2021, setting up new goals, projects, everything, I thought that this video would be very fitting. I know a lot of us sometimes get into planner ruts and I thought that this video would be perfect for those who are in a planner rut and right now with the new year setting up for 2021. So I wanna go over three reasons why I think people may not be fully utilizing their planners. So reason number one, is that you might be too hung up on doing exactly what you see everybody else doing. I get it, we see these planner flips and they're so aesthetically pleasing, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, and we all want our planners to look exactly like that. At the end of the day, when it comes to your planner, you really do have to find a planning system that works perfect for you. So you really have to figure things out and tailor things to you. You know, I've mentioned this before, we're creatures of habit, and if you think back to the days before you may have been hung up or very into making your planners look like everybody else's. Um, if you think back to the days of like school when we had those ugly spiral bound <laughs> planners that were for the school that came from the school that we would jot our homework down in, our assignments, uh, due dates. I personally would also write down like appointments outside of school because I was just obsessed with using a planner. <laughs> but um, if you think back to those days, we didn't do all this stuff we didn't have like these dashboards and all these aesthetically pleasing things in it we just took our pens and we wrote things down in it and we followed through on things so that we had some sort of schedule to hold us accountable for the things that we had to get done deadlines we had to meet assignments we had to do so if you think back to those days think about what really worked for you because you really have to set up a planning system these days with exactly what works for you and you guys have seen my planner flips i do of course have a few things in here that are you know dashboards like this this one is actually a newer freebie that's on my website um, along with a ton of other planner freebies but I always try to make my freebies both aesthetically pleasing for dashboards because we all love dashboards and also functional there's things in there that you guys can actually use for your planning process so I get that we like to have these things in here and I do as well and I of course have things like that in here as well but like when it comes down to it we have to really figure out our systems that just work great for us that we can actually follow through on because when you're getting too hung up on what you see other people doing and things that are trending and if that's not what your planning style is and not what the system is that works for you you're not going to use it you have to really tailor things to you it doesn't matter how it looks it doesn't matter about any of that you have to really the guts of your planner have to really be what works for you so that you actually utilize it if you just put all these inserts in here and you're too afraid to write on them because you don't want them to look sloppy then you're not going to use it so that's actually bringing me to my second point is don't focus on making it look pretty now again you can put dashboards in here of course that, that do add that element of things that look nice to just kind of make it a little aesthetically pleasing. But when it comes to your inserts and the guts of things, like you wanna actually use things that are actually assisting you to get these things done. So you can see here like, you know, I don't have the most awful handwriting. I write pretty small and decently neat. I can write a lot nicer than this, but I don't. I can also write a lot sloppier than this, but tend not to when I'm planning things out. But I do have super sloppy notes in my planner and I don't worry about how it looks. I don't have all these little cute stickers, which I have nothing against anyone who uses stickers or deco in their planners. I'm just saying why it may not be working for you. Like if you get caught up on things like that, wanting it to look perfect and everything like that, then it's not going to necessarily work because you have to have a place that you can jot things down from your brain and you can scribble them out and you can process them. This book is meant to help you process things, your tasks, your projects, everything. I do think a lot of people do worry about it being nice and neat and pretty. And you know, if they mess up on one of their inserts, they get worried about it and you know, they, they have to redo the whole insert. I will even show you guys, like I always have 
notes in here and like these are sloppy notes and I have a ton of these through my planner. I just can't show you guys all of them because they have things for future videos. But basically if you're trying to make things look perfect, then you're not actually paying attention necessarily to what the content on your page is. And you really have to be paying attention and having this system that works for you if that makes sense. So don't get too caught up on things looking too pretty or aesthetically pleasing or doing things that everybody else is doing. Um, don't worry about those things. This is your planner. And again, you can do whatever you want with it. Like, I'm not telling you guys that you have to do this, but you know, if you guys click this video, then you are interested in what I have to say about why you may not be utilizing your planner. And I know a lot of people get in planner ruts. I mean, I've been in planner ruts in the past as well. You might be thinking, why am I not using my planner? Why doesn't this work for me? Why do I set it up? And then it just sits on my desk or sits in my purse and I never open it and I don't get these tasks done or these projects done. Well, it's because you have to actually have a system that works for you, not somebody else's system. But you can always look at everyone else's videos to try things out because you have to try things out to figure out what works for you. And now we're gonna go into my third reason why you may not be utilizing your planner fully, and that is because you need to actually look at your planner. I have heard a lot of people who say they set their planners up and then they don't open them back up. I see a lot of people who have an inbox system and they write things down in it, but then they don't actually go through and follow through on it. You guys have to check this stuff every single day. If you're using a planner for the purpose of planning, for the purpose of task management, for the purpose of projects, if you're using a planner to actually be more productive, more functional, get more stuff done without putting more time into things, like just being more efficient with things and having a place to kind of brain dump all of that, then you need to actually follow through on the system. You have to actually open your planner up every single day and if you have a daily or a weekly or a monthly in here you have to check that every single day because for me for instance in my planning system like I write things out so far in advance sometimes that I might forget that I wrote it like if I know something has to be paid on a certain date I will go in and on that weekly I'll write that it has to be paid that day but I'm not going to necessarily remember that months prior so when that day gets here if I didn't open my planner to look I'm not going to remember that that had to be done so you have to follow through you have to be constantly checking your inbox checking your brain dump your weekly or monthly your projects whatever you guys are using your planner for you have to actually open it up and check those things and follow through on those things that's the only way that your planning system is going to work for you and like I said I'm not saying how you have to use your planners or anything like that I am not saying that anybody's planners are not working for them I mean there's people out there who do very pretty planning with stickers and everything and their planning system works for them because they make it work for them but for those of us who might be watching these videos or seeing these photos and saying, wow, I really want my planner to look like that. Or to say that you wanna to try to use somebody's planning system. It may not work for you and you might wanna keep it that way because it looks nice, but at the end of the day, is that actually assisting you? I think you have to ask the question, am I fully utilizing my planner? Is my planner actually helping me? Am I actually getting things done that I have to get done in an efficient, productive way? And if the answer is no, then some of these topics that I just mentioned might be why. So you guys have seen my planner flips and although my planner, I mean, I think it looks nice. I do have a couple elements in here like deco, like I have my a bunch of my freebie stuff that I offer on my website. So I have a couple dashboards in here and a couple little planner cards like just in the front here. But the guts of my planning system, I mean, do you see all that white paper in there? That is all inserts that I have things scribbled on, written out, notes, tasks, projects, everything like that. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Maybe it gives you a little jump start into setting up your planners for 2021, or maybe if you're in a planner rut and you just kind of need a couple tips, just remember your planner does not have to look like everyone else's. And if your planner doesn't work for you, if you're not getting the most out of it in the way that you want to get the most out of it, then you have to kind of just reassess things and figure out what it is that's not working. And don't worry about how it looks, worry about how it works. Hope you guys have an amazing new year and I will see you guys soon in another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later guys. Bye everybody.